Let's talk about your RV lights today. Can you relate? You walk into the RV, you flick the switch on and it's bright. You flick the switch off and it's dark. Wouldn't it be nice to have a happy medium where you can dim it and control the amount of light you have in your RV? Stick around because Pierre's gonna show us today how to install that dimmer switch so you can have the ambiance lighting in your RV. How brighter can it be? Look at that, yeah, right. At night, that's what happens. My wife gets pissed because these lights especially, they all line up with the couch. So every time I fall asleep, my head's tilt forward. There you go, she sees the light. So she knows every time that she was sideways like this and I do this, then the light hits her. So she knows I'm falling asleep. So I'm gonna try to trick her. We're gonna change that little switch. So here you go, we got four lights here. And it's like, okay, it's either off or it's on, off or it's on, which is cool when you're cooking. That is kind of nice. I appreciate that too, and I know she does too. But for us, at night, it's always nicer, it's more atmosphere. And I'm sure you have the same problem in your fifth wheel and your travel trailer. About only in the class A, they put some dimmer light. So let's try to install one of those. So we'll I just have some of that wire. You, you all have this in some kit that you bought, so you have some spare wires. So just, just have some of those handy. Wire stripper, wire cutter, a screwdriver. This is the dimmer, but these are my little go-to way go. So Laurel will put the link at the bottom. So those are kind of easy and simple because you just have to strip the end. You open those if you got two, three, four, five. I, I got some with up to six wires. But since I know I'm gonna split, I'm gonna take my three wires. So those are kind of nice. For example, if you have one of those and it's stripped, you got your wire, you tuck it in there. So DIY, anybody can do this. You put it in there, you push it to the bottom. There you go. You got your plug, it's done, it's over. So this is what I got. Dial switch, okay? And everybody's gonna see this, you know, it's off, on, so you just dim your, your light, you put them, they're gonna become like this or they're gonna go darker. The trick that is gonna kind of blow us up a little bit is that it has three wire. And most of you are gonna open your wall and you're gonna say, all right, well, I only have two wires on my switch, that immediate switch, because that was plugged directly and they just put them in series. So I'll give you the trick about this. This is where this comes handy. And I just want to say this, because as I was prepping this earlier, I, I, I just saw that and I'm thinking, if you see one of those one day, if you see one of those somewhere, I call that a dipstick. I think it's a chapstick, lipstick, whatever it is. If you see this, one of those somewhere, Laurel is not far, just saying. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna unhook this little uh, switch here. You don't need to take the power off. This is only 12 volts, so it's not like, like you're gonna shock yourself. You can hold both the wires at the same time and 12 volt is nothing and there's no amperage on there. So just stick around, we'll go a little bit faster on this one. So I'll show you what I did. So now that I have this disconnected, that is my switch I was talking about. Took this old switch off. It was beautiful, on and off. I might use it elsewhere one day, but what I know is in order to put power to this, because uh, I'll show you, I already tested it. Like I said, this is not like 110, so you're not gonna electrocute yourself. So in order to know if I can get power from this, I actually know I've got to go and feed myself some power from this one. This will become my dimmer pipe. So I need a third wire. Here's what I'm going to do. In here, you got false floors on this, or where they actually travel with the wires. So this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to pull this one off because this is, this is the empty. So these are spring loaded. Ouch, like a mouse trap. See, now I know, see this will go from there to there. So I'm kind of lucky I see where it's going. And what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna test which color I should have. So see, even those are backwards. So see, you gotta find the power 
that you will need. So this is to the light. This was the main switch. So now I'm going to just unhook this and I'm going to say, okay, uh, which one will be my power, which I just happen to know that this one will feed into this one. So I'm just going to do it temporarily. So the white one on that supposedly white one, I'm going to put tabs on there just to show you how easy it is. But let's say I'm going to, I'm going to hold this one by the hand. So it's going to show you there's no power for you to be afraid of. And this is dimmer is on. Let me check the black one. Oh, here's my power. Okay. So these are my three. So now I know I got this switch. I got that contact's not going to be good, but you understand the principle. So look at my lights. Those are my lights dimming. Those are my lights shutting. So now you're good. So you know you're going to have to jump somewhere on that black. So you just tried it, so you're good. You know exactly what you're looking for. So somehow I've got to split on this one or this one if you want to. Why will I split on this one? This is my main cable from the supply power from, from my RV. This, if ever this one burns, I like to have this plug. So this is kind of easy, plug and play. You just put it back in there and the light will run. So. I'm going to put my split on this one. Which color again was I putting? Black. Black one. So here's my red, here's my white, my red, my white, and then my black. My black I'll split on this one. But here's my intent. So I want to go split on this and I want to bring it back here. So in those false floors, see, this goes like this. So you actually, this one is an easy one. You can actually fit that in there and bring your black wire. So now I'm already hooked, but in order sometimes to get there, if you say, well, I got this one. So how do I access this cable from this one? I got lucky. This one was really close. That's when you come inside. See this one, I was actually able to, well, I'll try to show you what it looks like underneath, but see, this is what it looks like between the cupboard. So at one point, somehow, as long as there's nothing blocking it, you'll be able to run your wire. On this one, I already know that they put a divider here because this was one cabinet. So in this floor, see, you can hear this is solid. So I couldn't go through here unless I took this apart, drill a little hole in there and bring my wire to this place. We got lucky on this one. So this is an easy one. Here it is. This one is already done. So I'm going to take my little Wago and I'm going to open this little Wago. I'm going to clip it to this one. I push it, tug it, tug on it to see if it's working. And if I recall, this was for my black one, wasn't it? This one would be for my black one. I'll put it here. That's good. This one, I don't need it. so. Do I need it? No, I don't. I'll need it here because I'm going to split here. So now I'm going to end up with three wires. So I'm just going to keep myself there. Uh, I'll put longer. I don't have to worry about if it's too short, too long. So you either strip it with one of those, as some of you are familiar, or you use this one. See, I like to use this one because I take the length I want. And this is it. It's done. 20 bucks, something like that. 30 bucks maybe. Laura could link that at the bottom too. This is a handy tool to have. So I'm going to take another one of my Wago. Yeah, now I'm going to lose my cable. That's nice. So here's the deal. So I'll pick this one and I will split this one. I'm going to use this one like this. As I said, the black is my is the feed that I was looking for. And this, see how quick it is. Jeez, you guys can do that in about 15, 20 minutes. Just before she's cooking. She told me, she says, we're cooking. I said, no, we're doing this video. I've been preparing this for all day, so now it's time to get going. Yes, ma'am. So here's where this one will go, in there. I'm going to sit that one at the bottom. That's solid. I'll put this one. Let me see. 
put this one here. There you go. And now I'm going to put this one right in the middle. They're all snug. They're all good. So let's just try this again. See, before you put all stuff back together, I mean, just test it all the time. Well, see, I can't even hold it with the same hand. I dare you to do this with 110. So here's my switch. Well, geez. We look like geniuses, see? Your wife's going to appreciate this once you're done. So just saying. So since I know this one is done, I'll make it kind of simple. But here's my light. I'll just tug back that in there. So if ever I burn a light, I'm ready to put another one just by tugging it out. Put this little spring. There you go. This one is kind of simple. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Make it easy and simple. DIY people. That's what it is. You thought you needed a, an electrician for this? You're fine. You can figure it out. Especially 12 volt. It's not a big deal. So I need two more of those Wago. And see, that's where I have different boxes. I was just too lazy to go get the double one. But this is the three one. And I also have the double ones. So they take less room. But actually, they're in my truck because I used them a lot over there. So this will be like this. And if I recall, this was on the red one that's already been uh, stripped. So it's ready. Put it to the bottom like this. I take my other one. I go like this. I take this one. I go like this. Now it's on and off. So now you don't tell your wife, you just tell her that, honey, you owe me a hundred bucks. I had to have a technician come up here and install this. And you just pocket the money and go and buy her something so she'll be happy. So this will go in there. I'll use, luckily on this one, you might be able to link this switch up there, but this one I think should go exactly in the same hole. And because some people like the toggle switch, that's why it's a question of, of uh, preference, I guess. Uh, I like these round nubbies. They don't have light in them. They're simple. It feels like, okay, you feel like you can adjust it. You know, it's kind of easy instead of the up and down toggle that yeah whatever i kind of like this and this however it's going to be installed there's no matter nobody's going to ever see this but on the wall this is what it would look like so you're off and you're on so there you go honey tonight we'll just have a nice dinner at the faded lights no candle the candle's already open is it so hope you guys enjoy i think that was simple enough if not, ask for more comments. We'll try to answer you. We'll try to help you out. But hope you enjoyed this. And this will be a, an upgrade into your unit. And Lord will link the stuff below. And again, see, I'm even kneeling down here in front of my wife again. Remember, and do never forget, it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey.